guys, it's Heather from Kettle of a Plan, and today we are going to be laminating a planner page. I know we haven't done this in a long time, and I just decided it was time to laminate something else for my planner. I've been missing it. So, first we're going to design the page, then we're going to laminate it, and I'll go over how to laminate it. This is a laminating pouch, so you'll need laminating pouches, and you'll need a laminator, but we'll get to that in a minute. Right now my laminator is heating up. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I've pulled out this half sheet because for this I want um, to make a half sheet. So if you're interested in making a half sheet with me, you can go ahead and pull out your supplies. The first thing I do, since I'm gonna be laminating this, is I go ahead and I cut off the punched ends. That's mainly because it's gonna be really hard for me to re-punch it once it's laminated in the exact same spots that it's already punched. So I like to just cut off the punched edges and then I'll re-punch it when, once it's been laminated. So I'm gonna move my planner, but I am making this for my planner. And I'm in this particular video, I'm gonna be using my new sticker book that releases on Friday, but you can use any sticker book that you want to create a similar page. So the first thing I'm gonna do, well, first I should probably tell you what kind of page I'm making. I'm gonna make um, a page about today's top three. So this is gonna be something laminated in my planner where when I have a really busy day and I'm feeling really overwhelmed, I can pull this out and I can have a place to write the top three things that I need to get done that day. That's that's what I want this to be. But I want it to have, well, I want it to have some florals, but I also really want it to be functional. So let's start, let's maybe, mm, I'm trying to decide if I should start with a floral sticker or a decorative. Let's start with florals. We're going to start with floral stickers. Okay, so if we go back here to the clear ones, Let's take this one, this one's pretty big, and let's put it right here in this corner. And then let's take this one and let's put it up here in this corner. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the colorful boxes and let's put one right here and one right here and one right here and then I was gonna put that one but I think I actually want to do one of the boxes so I'm gonna put this one like this okay now I want to go back to that page that had the words And these words have the floral print like inside of them. So then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna say today's top three. And then I'm leaving a blank underneath here because I wanna have a place to put today's date every time I use this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this, my black pen, and I'm gonna draw numbers, big numbers, on the side of each box. So we got one, two, and three, just like that. And then I wanna go to the washi strips. Okay. And let's take this one, the long stripes, and run it down this side. And then we're gonna trim it. And then I wanna take this, okay, and then I can take the other one 
it down this side. Trim it. Like so. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is starting out so cute. Okay, so once you design your page, whether you design it to look like this or you design your half sheet to be whatever it is that you need to plan for, what you want to do next is you're going to take your planner pouch and you want to take this and lay it in your planner pouch. Now what I do is I go ahead and I line it to be pretty much right along or close to the edge on the bottom and the side. That way I know I don't have to trim those two sides and I'm just gonna have to trim it over here. Now, if you didn't wanna put this whole thing through the laminator, you could go ahead, usually I would do this with my paper trimmer, but my paper trimmer's downstairs, so I'm just gonna use scissors. But you could go ahead and trim your lamination pouch. That way you, st you still have this that you could use for another half sheet later but if you run it through the laminator, it's gonna stick it together and then you can't use this. But this is big enough to where I could still make another half sheet with this. Um, you could also, before you laminate it, you could decorate the back side. Now, right now, I don't have mine decorated. But what I might do is at least put some s stickers down the back so that it's at least pretty. So, I'm gonna take this big old honking sticker and I'm gonna lay it like this. And then I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna lay it like this. And I'm gonna trim it. That way I at least have a cute back even though it's not necessarily functional. Um, you could totally do this on both sides if you wanted it to be on both sides though. Or you could put something else on the back, like a brain dump or something like that. So I'm gonna line this back up where I want it. And then I'm gonna pull my laminator out. It's been down here heating up. My laminator is just from like, it's, I got it at either Office Depot or Office Max. I can't ever, or Staples. I got it at one of those. I can't remember which one. But it's a GBC brand, so whatever store carries that brand. Um, so now that it's all ready to go, yes, the green light is on, you want to put this in with the sealed edge first, and you're just going to slide it in. This lamination that I'm using, I think it's 5 mil. It might be 3 mil, but I think it's 5 mil. And um, you don't really want to use much thicker than that, just because then your happy planner punch won't punch it. But you just have to run it through one time. I do have these laminating pouches linked on my Amazon shop. So if you go to my Amazon link, that's it, somewhere in the description of this video, then you'll be able um, to see which ones I'm using. So I'm just running this through one time. It takes a minute to go through. Do, 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 do. All right, so you just have to run it through one time. I can go ahead and turn my laminator off. Then I'm going to take my scissors and trim off the top, okay? You could, if you have a quarter punch, sometimes I like to take a quarter punch and round off the corners so that they're not pointy. You obviously don't have to do this. I would not go out and buy a corner punch just to do this. But if you already have one, it is kind of looks nicer if you can go ahead and punch those corners. I got mine at like Hobby Lobby, I think. All right, so then you take your Happy Planner punch and you just line this in. press down and it's punched so you can then pop it into your planner 
just like this. Okay, I can also put it, so my spread for this week actually is using this, so I could put it in here. Now, when you're writing on a laminated um, planner page, don't use a dry erase marker because it will bleed. You want to use, nope, you don't even wanna use this. I think this is an Erin Condren wetter. Uh, I don't know how well these work. You wanna use, I'm trying to see if I can find mine. You wanna use a wet erase marker, not a dry erase. Dry erase will bleed. This is my favorite brand, Stadler. Okay, I got these from Amazon. You wanna use wet erase because then it's not gonna wipe off on your pages. So let's say I'm gonna use this on Friday the 11th, okay? So that's probably gonna be a busy day because it'll be my first day back home. So I could write the date right here and then I could write the three things that I need to get done. Then at the end of the day, when I'm finished with this and I wanna use it again another day, you would just take a wet rag and wipe all the wet, the wet erase marker off and then take a dry rag and run it over and then it's ready to use again and you can use it as many times as you want. Which is why I love making laminated pages for my planner because then you can use these as many times as you want to. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. I also have a whole playlist about laminated pages in your planner, so be sure to check that out if this interests you. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button, and happy planning.